Hey everybody, welcome back to Message in a Haunted Mansion. We're about to go and see what lies in wait for us tonight as we wake up in the middle of the night. And it does look like we skipped to another day, because now it's only 2.45. I'm going to go up to midnight. Let's try exactly midnight. So we've got a few mysteries left here. We need to find out where to find a light source for that, where to put this, and yeah, I guess there's some other stuff, but those are like the big ones. We still don't need to. We still don't know exactly where this stuff uh, is useful. I'm assuming that some of. Wait a minute. Hey. Hey. You can put in a code. Okay. I'm wondering if that's the... If that has anything to do with the... Uh... Oh! Those are... Is that the Chinese Zodiac? I think it might be. Let me look at this again. The Eye of the Phoenix is in your hand when the Bird of Fire sees again. I wonder if that's that bird thing on the stairway. Maybe we just have to get all the symbols of the Chinese Zodiac in order or something. I wonder if that's the, the deal with that. So, Abby had a book about that, didn't she? Uh, I don't want to disturb her. Oh, that's a good point. What happens if we try to go in? Uh, She's not here. That's pretty weird. Where, where is she, anyway? She had a book up on the Zodiac, didn't she? Well, hopefully we won't get caught. I mean, it's the middle of the night and everything. Here we go. Zodiac and you. Okay. Alright, so let me take a picture of this. We got the rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, blah, 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 blah. And hopefully that will be the key to success here. So is that just a bug in the game where Nancy just says I don't want to disturb her even though she's not there? I find it weird that uh, she never showed up like earlier in the day too. Um... Hang on, I'm just bringing up the picture on my phone here. Alright, so... First is the ox. Alright? There are 12 all in all, so, which matches the number here. So I think we're on the right track. So let me name all these. This guy looks like a cat type thing. So I think this is the tiger. This looks like an ox. This is a rooster. What is this thing? A pig? Or is this the... Yeah, I think this is the boar, right? Oh, boy. Okay, I, I'm gonna have to figure these out. Okay, the rat is here. So, why don't we just go through each of these? The rat is there. The ox, I'm assuming, is this. Tiger is this. Rabbit. Okay, which one of these looks like a rabbit? This thing? This looks like a rabbit. Yeah, why don't we go with that? That's a rabbit. Dragon. I think it's this guy. This looks like a dragon. Snake is definitely that. Horse. Which one of you looks like a horse? This guy? This looks most like a horse. Goat. I think this is the goat. And then monkey, rooster, dog, and boar? No? Hmm. Did we get a couple of these mixed up? I don't think so, because I mean, this looks like a... Unless this is the horse and this is a goat? This looks like a horse though. Look at the, like, look at, look at its tail there.
Okay, I'm going to do this again, assuming that maybe I got these mixed up. Because the others I'm relatively certain about. Alright, so rat is first, then the ox, then the tiger, then rabbit, dragon, snake. Alright, so let's do horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, and boar. No? Fascinating. I, I don't know. We'll come back to that later. Alright, what were we going to do at nighttime? We are going to go to Lewis's spot, weren't we? Yeah, let's look at that. Alright, Lewis. So this chest thing... We gotta move... A knight's move, right? Oh wait, he's just got a book on chess. Wasn't there an actual board on chess? Like a chess board here somewhere? I could have sworn I saw a chess board somewhere. I'm not imagining this, right? I, I did see a chess board somewhere. Can't do anything with those. It, was it in the parlor? I mean, I guess you would play chess in the parlor. That makes more sense than playing chess in the study, right? That's the burnt box. Hmm. Let's make some phone calls. Why don't we do that? I like the fact that you can make phone calls at any time of the day. That is so awesome. Let's call Hannah. We haven't talked to Hannah in a little while. Drew Residence, Hannah Groon speaking. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Nancy. There was a fire in the parlor, but I put it out in time. Thank goodness. I just hope nobody was hurt. Rose told me she was afraid that house was a fire trap. I'm just yeah. so glad you were there to save the place. Do you mean save the place? Lewis is up to something. I saw him take a book from the library. That doesn't sound very suspicious. Hmm. What was the book about? Well, it's not so much that the book was about anything, it's more that he put it in his briefcase very surreptitiously. I mean, you just don't take books from someone else's library and put them in your briefcase, right? Oops, hang on. I should get back to work. Goodbye. Goodbye. Alright, Bessie, what you got? Please tell me you got more hints. Please tell me you got more hints. I don't know what I'd do without Bess's hints. Hello? Hi, Bess. What's up? You'll never believe this, but things have gotten even more complicated. I found some clues that there might be buried treasure in the house. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, Nancy. It sounds like you've got a real case on your hands. How can we help? Uh, we can tell her about the fire. There was a small fire in the house, but luckily I put it out. But the old papers that Abby found were destroyed. Things are really starting to heat up, Nancy. But I'm sure the bad puns. Why would someone want to burn those papers? I bet there was something in them that was important. I'd take another look at the scene of the fire for any clues. Yeah, that's a good idea. We can do that. Can you guys give me a clue? I'm not sure what to do next. My room is looking good. It's fun to redecorate. How's your room, Nancy? Notice anything different? That's interesting. I should get going. Talk to you later. Goodbye. Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to look at our room and check out what's over here. I'm glad that the game actually uses that as a hint because I'm always bad at figuring out, you know, when things change all of a sudden without us knowing in these games. So that's always nice. So is there any sort of clue around here anywhere? Because other than the stuff in here, obviously. There are times when I really wish Nancy would say, oh, So that's what this is! And this is one of those times. Because I don't know what significance looking at that does, has on our current situation. Maybe nothing. Maybe we were just supposed to look at the little burnt scraps and that was it. I'm still wondering why we can zoom in on this thing. 
It's a little strange that we can. There doesn't seem to be anything else suspicious that wasn't here before, though. I think I'm going to go to my room and just look around. We already got the threatening LEAVE THE MANSION NOW note, so... I'm assuming this is referring to something completely different. We've been out here for a couple hours. Nice. Okay, let's go back to Nancy's room we go! So what am I looking for that's different? I mean, there's this, but I, I'm guessing that was there all along and we just didn't notice it, right? Hey, what's this? Oh! Emily sent us something. Nice. Uh, Gold Treasure Mansion. Okay, so that is, the I guess, the literal translation of Gumbo Fu. Interesting. So... We're going to have to learn these Chinese symbols for some puzzle, I'm assuming, right? Hmm. There's also the matter of it's this stuck. this thing. I forgot about this. It's stuck. What can we do to help with that? I guess if we find oil for the lamp, we can also use it here. It's stuck. What about the screwdriver? Hey, it worked. Uh There's nothing there. Did we already get something there? Maybe we did. We did, didn't we? Yeah, there was a th key there, right? Because we got a clue for that, too, didn't we? Alright, so I have no idea where to go now. I feel like I just need to keep getting hints from Bess and George. I feel so bad about doing that, though. That seems so exploitative. Uh, I'm going to look in here in the basement one more time. Like I feel like there should be some sort of stuff for the lamp in here like it makes the most sense because we got mr. tool guy here mr. handyman certainly he has a tool for this right or maybe they have something at the bar we already found the key in the register so hmm. maybe there really isn't anything here Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything new or different or anything here. I still haven't found this mysterious chessboard that we need to use. It's not in here, is it? Oh, I wonder if Rose has something new. Does Rose have anything new that we can look through? That's still there. That's still there. That's the note from Lewis. Accident reports. Yeah, I don't... We can't look through that bag? I feel like that would be like the most important thing to look at. Ooh, did I miss something here that I could pick up? I think we got something here earlier, didn't we? Yeah, I don't think there's anything more. I'm kind of a little shocked we can't walk over and check that stuff out. We can't look at this hutch thing. I didn't know what spindles were. I knew what... I know what hutches are, though. That's kind of sad. Okay. Um, <laughs> I guess we're going to make another phone call. Yeah, because I have no idea where to find the eye for that or anything. I feel like if we found, like... Something that just unlocked a bunch of stuff in a row. That would be amazing. So let's try this out. Call Bess and George again. Hello? Hi, Bess. Hello, what's new? Can you guys give me a clue? I'm not sure what to do next. My room is looking good. It's fun to redecorate. Wait. How's your room, Nancy? Notice anything different? So there is something that we missed? I should get going. Talk to you later. Bye, Nancy! What did we miss in Nancy's room? 
Okay, this is getting a little bit weird. I guess it's not quite as weird as some of the stuff going on in the house. But still, kind of a little strange. Did somebody leave us like a threatening note or something in here and we, we need to find that? Oh, maybe there's something in our bag. It's locked. Let's open up our bag. Treasure poem? Fate. Okay, so these are all our notes. Hoax, yeah, we definitely know the seance was a hoax. Valdez, Charlie, do 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 do. Gumbo Foo, we found that out. Okay. Fascinating. Fire? <laughs> I like that. Wait a minute. Hang on a sec. It's locked. Oh, that's just part of the shirt. Okay. Alright, what is this thing that we're supposed to notice up here in Nancy's room? What is so different about this room? We got the threatening note, right? Can't go there. There's still this thing. Is that what we're supposed to do? No idea. Wait a minute. Oh, that just zooms in on this screen. There's still nothing unusual about that. Can I do something with this dragon? I'm guessing this is just so you can learn this symbol. For something. It's probably a puzzle later on. I do find it weird, though, that we keep zooming in on this. My question is, was this here earlier? Huh. Wait a minute. Is this... This is the goat and this is the ox, isn't it? I got this totally wrong before. Okay. Okay. Let me run with that. That makes way more sense than the order we were doing earlier. Or the... Uh, the assignments we gave for each of these. So rats, and then ox would be this. Then tiger, then rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goats that, then monkey. At least these four are not all in a row, which is nice under this assignment. Rooster, dog, and boar. There we go. Okay. Now what do we have here? Oh, is this where we put in Gumbo Foo, I wonder? Oh, no! Okay. We're gonna have to do that again, apparently. Okay, so let me see here. Let me just take a picture of this real quick. And I don't know if these symbols are even on the thing, but... Hopefully... We can... We can use this here. I do find it interesting that we got those characters, so... So I'm gonna have to do this again. That's annoying. So rats, ox, tiger, rabbits, dragon... I'll probably be able to do this in my sleep soon enough. Snake, horse, goat, monkey... Rooster, dog, boar. All right. So, are any of the those symbols on this thing? Whoa! Hey, no, no, no. I just want to. How do you turn it though? That seems to reset it. Seriously, how do you turn this? This is like a combination lock where we turn this and then we press the button to lock in our selection, right? How in the world do you... 
What? No, I don't want to do that. I just want to turn it. See, this symbol's here. And... Oh, is that all? That might actually be all the symbols from the gumbo foo thing. Alright, so I, I have to come to the conclusion that this is not where we input gumbo foo as characters. Because I'm not seeing the other two characters here. So, what this means is... Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Let me... Hang on. Let me open this up one more time. I'm sorry about that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take a picture of all those symbols. And I'm hoping that I can use them to... Um, 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 match up with other symbols around the house. So let me go ahead and do that. Can we just not do anything with this because we haven't found all the clues we need? Is that is that the game here? I just find it weird that we can't seem to turn this. Alright. So, I can only conclude... ...that this poem over here... ...has something to do with that. I still don't know what this four-sided box thing is all about. But, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking stock of all these things. Because I think this... Is this a, pit, is this a symbol that's on the, the safe thing? It is! Okay, it's the one that's kind of in the southeast corner. So I'm going to definitely take a picture of that as daughters, I'm assuming? Okay. Then there's the secret thing in Lewis's area that has child. So hang on a sec. Daughters was in here in the beginning of the poem, right? Just want to make sure I got a good look at this. Ten daughters are reunited in order. Child. Here we go. Child to the story of dreams. Somehow this has got to be important. I'm just trying to figure out how. So, child... Let's go back out here. Hopefully no one starts any more fires in there. Doesn't look like there's anything new in this area. Nope. Alright, so child is that. Let's see, is that in... Is that in the lineup here? Looks like... Let's see, what's the verdict? It is! Okay, it's the very first symbol. Okay. Interesting. Uh, best we need another hint here. <laughs> is it safe to assume that this puzzle is actually solvable right now? I wonder if it is. All right, let's call Bess just to see. Bess, is this puzzle solvable right now? We need to know. Bess? Hello, what's new? Can you guys give me a clue? I'm not sure what to do next. The solution to the safe must be nearby. Or scattered all over the house. Or both. Okay. So it looks like we do need to solve that puzzle next. I should get going. Talk to you later. Call us! Oh boy, guys. <laughs> this is gonna be... This is gonna be quite a puzzle to solve. I can just tell. Because we're, we're going to have to find clues just about everywhere in this house. And I'm going to have to remember like where all the clues even are. 
I'm wondering if there's other books that we can read here in the library, the study area, library area. That may have even more info. Let's see, can we read any of these? I'm, I just want to get a good uh, refresher on all the info we need. So this is just the music stuff for the piano puzzle. There's a lot of books in here that are about music that we needed for that puzzle, so I'm assuming that those can easily be divided into music books and maybe books about other things, like just historical San Francisco stuff. Oh, that's right, this is that weird spot where you can't pick up that air, the book in that one spot where you mouse over. And then it just stops turning red. Was there anything on any of these other shelves? There's this. Ah, here we go. Oh, this is just more piano. Okay. Maybe that really is all there is to see here. Oh yeah, that symbol. Does that symbol mean four? Is it on the wheel, the safe wheel? Let me take a look here. It's kind of like a, it looks like a trough almost. And it is on the wheel. Okay. So I'm definitely taking a picture of this. So assuming that we need to find all of these symbols somewhere, then let's see. That means there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 of these things all over the house. I feel like we haven't even found close to that many. This is about Lizzie Applegate, yeah. Okay, so that's not it. Okay. I know this is kind of a little bit boring, but I'm actually having a lot of fun trying to find all this stuff. Okay. I'm just having to remember like what all we've looked at so far. And I'm wondering if we've even found everything. There may be more things that we can unlock that we haven't really seen yet. Hey, what's this? Ooh. Can we not look at that? We just opened up this drawer and we can't even look at the thing inside it. That is so bizarre. Can we look over here? No? Then what was the point of doing this? Okay, that's just weird. Wait. Oh, that's just the same screen. We can't look at anything there. I'm just wondering if it's not really a puzzle that we need to solve. It's just something that we can zoom in on that we didn't notice before. Like, just like that drawer. And we got this pan, and this is where we got the scraper, wasn't it? Okay. This is just going to be a, basically a giant scavenger hunt, I think. Anything over here? Now I'm going to be looking upon everything with suspicion as far as zooming in. Because anything could be a clue at this point, right? Still missing, an, missing eye. an eye. I'm beginning to wonder if this is even about the Eye of the Phoenix thing or not. Ooh, I wonder if Abby has got some more books on stuff. Old West Romances. This is probably not going to have Chinese symbols on it, so. But that Zodiac book, let me just look at that, because I only took a picture of that paragraph. Did that book have anything in it about uh, symbols? Mercury Day. That's quite a name. It doesn't look like it, though. Okay, nothing more on that shelf. Fortune telling. Uh, we can't actually read that. 
there any books in here or no books in here? Huh, okay. We can't look at that chest of stuff. Okay, maybe she doesn't have anything then. Yeah, because I don't think there are any books around here. Alright, well, that's a little strange. Is there anything down here in Rose's area? I don't recall any, like, Chinese symbols there. She, she, only, she, she only had, like, house documents and stuff. Letters in English. Yeah. Whoa, wait a minute. Hey, what do we got here? Ooh. Lots of stuff. Rose Greens is something from Helen O'Leary for fire insurance policy, huh? Wait a minute. She's the sole benefactor of one million dollars? Ooh. Now that casts some suspicion on Rose. Okay, well, I'm glad we found something while looking around here. Interesting. Come on, we gotta find more Chinese symbols, right? Hey! That was weird. You guys hear all those voices in the background? Okay, that was pretty strange. And we thought we were done with all the haunts. I guess not. Man, I really want to go dig around in that tunnel down there, but I don't know how to do that. I'm going to assume that we just can't do it right now. So, at this point, I think I'm going to consults the UHS hint system for some hints on where to find these various Chinese characters. I'm also going to look around myself and just see if we missed anything. I'm sure that we've gotten a bunch of stuff or seen a bunch of things over time that I'm just forgetting about. The one place I haven't checked though is the attic. Like I haven't been up here in a little while. I'm wondering, is there anything up in the attic that's simply... One funny thing I forgot to mention is when Nancy was talking to, I think it was Emily earlier, about the attic and having the, whether or not the attic was in conjunction with the incidents, that kind of that kind of caught me off guard. Because I'm like, how in the world would this attic be related to the incidents? I mean, other than the obvious, you know, the thief or, you know, culprit was doing stuff here. But she almost made it sound like the thief was or culprit was up here while stuff was going on. Which was kind of a little weird. We were like conducting things from here. Okay, that... That's pointless. This is that... Em now it's an empty box. Weird doll head thing. Yeah. Newspapers, which we can't read. Bottles. Did we look at these earlier? I don't know if we did. The scythe thingy and yeah, I think that's about it. So I have no idea what it is that we need to find in order to get those remaining characters. It's stuck. Because the thing that we got from Emily was like, just gumbo foo, and only gum, which I'm assuming is house, because it looks like a house, was the, uh, this thing was the relevant symbol. Or maybe it's gold. It could be gold, but it looks like a house, so. I don't know. I think I'm just going to stop here for now, and hopefully we can make some headway next time. So until then, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you on the flip side.